good morning. We are at Grand Harbor Marina in Tennessee. And this morning we are getting ready to cast lines. We have about 50 miles to do today. We've got three locks to get through and uh, we are leaving Tennessee, leaving the Tennessee River. We're getting into Mississippi, into the Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway and making our way south. So time to get uh, the engines fired up, get Ollie out for a morning walk and get this ship moving. After six and Dreamer is pulling up lines. Kathy and I are ready to go first which is weird. Yeah, never. <laughs> never so. We're up first for sure but we just don't have our yeah. things in order. We never have but well, we have it together today. We're ready to pull off the dock here at Grand Harbor, head down Pickwick Lake, get into Tennessee Tom Bigby and get into Mississippi and keep on keeping on south. to the Tennessee Tom Bigby. You can see the green has now moved to the right side. We are leaving Grand Harbor and this little lake behind us and the Tennessee River. I also think we may have just crossed into Mississippi. approaching the Witten Lock, and I believe it's 85 foot drop. Jamie Witten Lock and Dam, 
We are going to drop 85 feet. Montgomery Lock. It was only like four miles, but it took us two hours to get into the lock. made it to Midway Marina in Fulton right at dark. It was a long day for 40, 50 miles. Three locks in the rain and of all things in the last lock, the windshield that we worked so hard on, <laughs> the wiper blade went flying off the arm and into the lock and never to be seen again. It's like slow motion, to tink to tink right down the bow. <laughs> so we did a little squeegee in, did a rain dance and it let up enough and we pulled in and docked right at dark. This is a cool little marina. Some of the dock hands stayed late to help all the loopers get in. And they had a courtesy car. So I took the courtesy car into downtown Fulton, got a couple new wiper blades and a few supplies, and made it back in time to head up to the Midway Marina restaurant where we're going to grab a little dinner and probably have a cocktail to relax. So long day for 40 miles, but uh, we made it. And uh, have a good dinner and a few drinks and back at her tomorrow. But the locks were successful, all three of them. We just had to wait for a lot of boat barge traffic. But truly, once we got in all three of those locks, and one of them was an 83-foot drop, the ball placement has been a thing, the line handling. I've learned so much on being positioned in different directions. We've come a long way in just three weeks of locking, so that feels good. And there was like 14, 12, 13, 14 boats in there with us today, maybe 12 and we were all pulling into this marina at the same time so it was just like a line of boats waiting and that the marina staff here handled it perfect they did really good yeah definitely a few impatient boaters docking but i understand it was a long day on the river and uh, everybody's got uh, their different ways of handling things so we made it all to the dock safe and sound we're all gonna go up for a little camaraderie and some dinner and a few cocktails and back at it tomorrow departing Midway Marina in Fulton, Mississippi. Got about 50 miles down to Columbus Marina in Waverly, Mississippi. And we got four locks to go through. So the gentleman kind of leading this group of loopers uh, out of Midway called the lock. They just put a tow through. And so it's 5.30 in the morning, engines start. We're departing the dock here at six and trying to get down to that first lock so he could put us right through because we have four locks to get through. So. 
Busy day ahead. Here we go. Yo. Here we go. <laughs> run to the Fulton lock from the Midway Marina so we were lucky they had just put some commercial traffic through and we were able to all pull in so short one mile run down to the Fulton lock and waiting for the doors to close and lower us down second lock of the day. Uh, we're at the Wilkins lock and there is still six, let's see, two, four, eight in our group. A um, couple of loopers, looks like a sailing catamaran and uh, we are dropping another 30 feet. Kind of important as we found out, we you change groups or different groups of boaters. So like these six are traveling, eight traveling together today and we're learning that it's important to be considerate and uh, have good communication on the radio. Um, these locks are very busy, there's commercial traffic, and we're just noticing a few boaters, could be a rookie mistake, and but just a few that aren't staying on their radio or communicating well, and it really puts all the other boats in a predicament and the lock master. So, lesson we're learning today, and not pointing any fingers, but lesson lo we're learning today is stay in tune on the radio, stay in communication, make sure we have our safety checks in place, and uh, we're learning every day so just a little piece of advice if you're traveling with a group could be a new group every week just be considerate to the other boats stay in good communication keep the radio on and uh, don't try and go rogue if we're trying to go through these things as a team just a just a side nugget couple more miles downriver and we are now at the Thad Cochran lock which is our third of four today this one is a little smoother we were able to pull right in there is a tow a barge in front of us going downriver so 
we're kind of at the mercy of his speed. Uh, but one more lock and then the marina, so we're hoping it all goes smooth. But we are tied to the wall and just kind of waiting on the rest of this flotilla to get in. about six miles or so from the Aberdeen Lock and this particular area is basically just flooded. It's flooded from the dams. It's part of what keeps the waterway a waterway but it is literally just flooded woods and we're seeing a lot of vegetation up at the surface although there's some houses with some big boats in the distance so it's really important to stay in the channel unless you know what you're doing or are familiar with these waters. Um, but just a lot of flooded backwaters through here. You gotta stay in the channel, watch the buoys.
Third boat on the starboard wall, secure. Go ahead. Well, we are at the fourth lock of the day. It's the Aberdeen lock. It leaves us about oh, 20 miles or so to our marina. Looks like about another 30 footer. All is well. Clouds are starting to break up a little bit, which is nice. Same six of us in today's flotilla. So we successfully made it through the four locks or about to make it through the four locks and no more locks for today just some beautiful river scenery and about 20 miles to the marina hopefully we get in at a reasonable time and can relax a little bit and have a nice dinner so all's well tell me your theory on the road <laughs> well okay so there's Near cleats on Andromeda, one's right here and one's right there. But this is like the center of the boat for the mass. So the ball placement was actually maybe too forward now. I like my ball right over here, so we're kind of a little too far forward. But the balls keep you off the wall. And then I'm holding this pen tension. I'm debating about trying to wrap it around a cleat, but I think that's sketchy because in a pinch, I have to do it under the cleat. And I just feel like this is, there's no support for me right here. If I had to frantically grab a line, I have more chance of going over than if I was right here. So I don't know. So I'm reading and bearing it, getting calluses. Today is the fourth lock. I did two yesterday, two or three, and knock on wood. They've all been smooth.
here in Columbus Marina in Waverly, Mississippi. We made it from Fulton. We stayed at Midway Marina. So Fulton to Waverly today was about 47 nautical miles, about 50 miles statuette. Four more locks today, all about 30 foot drops. Went pretty smooth. We were with the group of about six boats. Stayed together the whole way and kind of made it down here. Some nice scenery is mostly, we're in the 10 Tom, the Tennessee Tom Bigby waterway now. And it's a lot of flooded woods. A lot of these locks are used to um, flood the the small lakes and flood the river and keep the ten tom full of water so a lot of flooded backwaters and some cool fall scenery but sort of gray and rainy most of the day so a lot of it felt a little monotonous at times but of course what could be better than cruising around the great loop so no complaints we got through the four locks big day tomorrow we are gonna start the engines at 3 30 in the morning and try and make the hundred mile run to demopolis so that's our plan for tomorrow. It's a little extreme, but it's just <laughs> something we want to get done. And uh, hopefully tomorrow night we'll be in Demopolis, and then we have a couple nights to chill out. Got some oil to get changed, and Demopolis is a good place to just uh, and Demopolis is a good place to just chill. So we're in for tonight. We're making some dinner early to bed and early to rise tomorrow. Ali, is everything okay with you? Ali, for the first time in the last two anchorages, really had some big green space today to play in. So we were throwing the ball, and he was, yeah, he was out there having a good time. We're going to go take him again right now. And then, yeah, tomorrow, a big, long day. Um, but the payoff is going to be we're going to be there for two days. So we're going to yeah. pull in, hopefully not too late tomorrow, exhausted, but then we'll have the whole day the next day to explore the town and provision and I got to do laundry and we'll kind of get everything back into a for the next round for the golf so it's yep. all good making our way to the golf chasing those 80 degree temps so yeah. on the water early tomorrow all good tonight <laughs> yeah